Hey guys, so in today's video I wanted to review a couple of graphic novels that I've been reading and they are volumes 1 and 2 of Rat Queens. I picked these up because I saw them in a haul of another booktuber and I just thought they sounded really interesting so I thought I would have a look myself. And when I went to my um, local Waterstones, had a flick through them, um, thought it sounded really good so I thought I would give them a go. And I'm really, really glad I did. These are probably my favourite graphic novels that I've read so far. Um, I've only been recently getting into comics and graphic novels, um, probably past few months to be honest, um, picking a few up and trying them out, but so far these are my favourites. It follows a group of women, there's four women, and they're known as the Rat Queens, and they're pretty much um, kind of like fighters or killers for hire basically. They travel around together on different adventures, and this one um, in the first volume, sorry, this one, it's about them trying to save this town from being ransacked um, by bad people. And it's really good, it's proper action packed. Um, I will say there's a few gruesome scenes in these graphic novels, uh, along with nudity and bad language. <laughs> so it's not really for a younger audience, but I would highly recommend them, you know, for. Um, people who are looking for something that has a bit of action and some kick-ass women it's it's really good I mean these four women there's Hannah who's a rockabilly elven mange there's Violet a hipster dwarf and fighter Dee an atheist human cleric and Betty a hipster uh, smidgen thief so they all have like their own different personalities and their own abilities in fighting different fighting styles and it's just really good, they just all really work together, um, it's really fun like seeing their friendship throughout the two graphic novels and in the first one you're kind of introduced to them and what they're all about um, and you know the storyline kind of is like setting up the story and in the second one um, it follows on from the first but it also it has in each chapter a few scenes about um, each of the women and kind of about their pasts and how they came to be where they are today and it's really interesting I just love it I love the fact that we all have their own personalities but they all kind of go really well together um, it's a really nice friendship story slash adventure violence it's just awesome <laughs> I would highly highly recommend these if you haven't seen them go check them out and pick them up I cannot wait for volume 3 to come out I will be buying it I'm also going to try and look out for the comics. Um, I've not seen them before, any Rat Queens comic, comics in my um, comic book store, but I may ask them to see if they have any so I can get kind of more into the story because I'm so far just absolutely loving it. Also, on another note, the images in these books are absolutely beautiful. Um, they're full of colour, um, really well drawn. There's kind of a close up of all four of the women and it's just really good um, you know the artwork's lovely and um, as I said the story's really gripping you know the characters are awesome it's really nice to see a graphic novel which kind of focuses on a group of women who are good at fighting you know it's just something different that um, I haven't really seen before and as I said I'm only kind of newly getting into graphic novels um, so, you know, I don't know too much about them yet, but so far, um, these ones are definitely my favourite. I do also have quite a few more that I've bought recently, and I'm going to be reviewing, um, hopefully, uh, soon in the next coming up weeks. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I'm going to have to say. I'm going to stop rambling, but I would highly recommend these if you're looking for new set of graphic novels to read. They're just great fun. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Uh, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.